Hey, what's up, Unbroken Nation? How do you really determine the right kind of support for you when you are in this healing journey? Where is the, where's the jump off point for you figuring out, okay, this is what I need in order to accomplish my goal of stepping into health, healing, growth, whatever that may be? Right. Well, I didn't make a list before I went to therapy, but I did have about three or four very bad experiences until I found the right therapist. And the right therapist kind of found me. I mean, I was referred to her, but I walked into her office, highly defended. That was one of those types of people that the way I coped with my abuse was to be highly defended. Um, you know, I knew it all. I was, you know, smart and everybody looked up to me and, you know, had that false sense of confidence that wasn't even real, that was hiding the pain inside, that was hiding the emptiness inside. And within five minutes, I told her, I walked in, I said, I'm looking for a therapist who can do this, this, and this. And within five minutes, she said to me, boy, you are really controlling, aren't you? What's underneath that? And she said it very compassionately. And she just broke through my defenses right away. And I started crying. Um, nobody was breaking through my defenses. They were just going along with the game. They were just going along with, yeah, she's smart. She's, you know, she knows what she's talking about. Yeah, she's been abused, but she is so strong and confident. They just bought it and she didn't buy it. So I can't say to you, you know, I had a list or that, I mean, I did go in telling her I wanted, wanted, wanted to work on this, this, and this, but um, I, I just lucked out. I had somebody that I trusted who referred her to me, but I just lucked out. But to answer your question, if you don't feel, you don't have to feel comfortable with the therapist uh, right away. You know, that can take time. It can take time for you to feel comfortable with anybody. But you need to have the sense that the therapist is on your side. Certainly, you don't want somebody who's questioning you. You know, why didn't you leave your relationship if it was so bad? No, I don't want to work with someone ask, asking that question. You know, um, you know. Are you sure that that happened to you? You know, any question that insinuates that you're exaggerating or making it up or making a big deal out of something, somebody that has the, the, the energy around, well, you can just get over it. Why don't you just get over it? No, no, no. That's not going to be a good therapist for a survivor of abuse of any kind. We don't need to be told that we should get over it. We don't need to, you know, the Facebook you know, messages, you know, look on the sunny side or, you know, you know, keep moving on and you'll get over this and all those positive kind of pseudo positive messages. No, you don't want that from a therapist if you're working through abuse. You want somebody who's going to meet you with your pain, who's going to have the capacity to have compassion for you that knows what it's either, either they know what it's like to suffer the way you have or they've had lots and lots of clients who know it and they can meet you there. They can meet you with your suffering. They don't have a need to talk you out of it or to whitewash it. They know it about it and they wanna hear about it and they wanna be there for you. That's what I would look for.